Hey everyone, I'm Jason from Totally Online Gaming Group, and I want to welcome you to our latest episode of Let's Talk About, a show where we look at awesome software, cool tech, great tools, and all sorts of stuff that you can use to enhance your tabletop gaming experience, no matter what tabletop gaming system you use. Today on Let's Talk About, we're going back to Critical Hit Gaming Supplies, and we're going to look at the EPAX X10 3D printer with the 4K monochrome display. So, let's dive right in. Today, we are going to unbox and take a look at the EPAX X10 4K 3D printer. So, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, just like with the X133, they give you a box within a box, and I've got styrofoam in the corners, as well as plastic protectors like this to try to prevent any damage to the unit. All right, so here's the box that was inside that, and uh, this had styrofoam corners around it, as well as those black plastic corner protectors to try to keep it safe. And I'm gonna open this box where we actually can get to so, let's see what the heck we've got inside. I'm going to have to slide this out. So, I'm going to tilt this up carefully, like this, onto its base. And here you can see it in the box, right here. Again, they use a lot of styrofoam and shrink wrap and everything to try to protect this, keep it safe from the shipping. This isn't exactly how uh, they will probably come if you order one. This was their US based demo model. And so it's been repackaged. Yours, if you want a brand new one, is probably going to be packaged much nicer. But even so, it looks like they've got good coverage here with the styrofoam. I think it'll be fairly safe. We'll, we'll inspect it. And unlike with the X133, we're going to make sure we look real close at the casing to see if we see any dings this time. Now we just need to take off the shrink wrap, and then we're going to take a close look around the casing, see if we see any damage that might have occurred during shipping. Hopefully, there will be none. Here we've got some contact paper on the front to protect the, the glass on the front. Let's go ahead and peel that off. So let's take a look at this, the outside, the case. So far, we're on the top edge. I'm not seeing any dings there. Along the sides. Okay, we do have on the back. Don't know how well you can see, but right here on the back plate, it seems like it has popped in. So we're going to remove this back cover, we're going to take it off carefully, we're going to look and see if this is banged in anything inside it, hopefully not, and uh, you know, assuming everything is good, when we put it back, we're going to make sure it lines up on the outside edge like it should. Alright, so let's look inside here. Open up the front cover. Once again, I've got the contact paper on the glass. One thing I want to point out here is the glass here. It looks very much like the glass on the X133. Uh, the X1, if you remember in our previous video, we pointed out it's extremely dark, so you really can't see what's going on inside. This you can, and the tint to the glass and everything is there to prevent spillage of UV light from escaping the, un the unit as it's operating and thereby you know, potentially causing problems with nearby prints that haven't cured yet, having to inadvertently cure. Well, this is to prevent that. But it's also transparent enough that you can actually see inside the unit while it's printing and observe the print. So we've got all this stuff on here to protect the internals. Pull this out. We've got the manual right here. Right here, we've got our build plate. When you look at this build plate here, 
This is not the standard build plate that comes with this unit. This was a demo unit, as I mentioned previously. They didn't have the appropriate build plate available, they couldn't find it. It is angled, as you saw in the previous video with the E-Packs, you can see the angles on that build plate. It's a very similar build plate, but this size. So they are planning on ordering a new build plate and sending it out to Critical Hit Gaming Supplies to replace this, but they wanted to make sure that they at least had something to begin with. So your build plate, if you order a new one, is actually going to be the one that has the angles on the top to help any resin that collects on top run off so you don't have as much trapped up there. Got some film right here. This is uh, some NVEP. Most likely one extra in here. Hey, in this styrofoam layer, you've got your tools. Okay. Right here, scraper, the Allen wrench. You also have the thread connector to attach the build plate onto the sport, which is actually down in the bottom right now, covered up by the styrofoam. You also have your power cord and a metal scraper, as well as the plastic one. The last layer of styrofoam, here we have the vat. Right now you can see covered in shrink wrap, well protected, and it looks like it's coming with some paper filters right here. Okay. So you're gonna set all this stuff aside for just a little bit. Okay, hopefully you guys can see in here pretty well. Here we have the support arm for the build plate. The threaded connector is going to screw right into this and into the build plate to hold that on. Here is your, your railing that the support arm is going to travel on. Down here you have your 4K monochrome screen. And then of course your touch interface right here where you're going to turn on the unit, uh, going to tell it to start a print, do light tests with it, those kind of things. We're currently leaning this unit forward. We have a pillow underneath. You don't want to put it flat on the front surface. Uh, we just you know, want to take every precaution. We don't want to damage this thing. So we've got it leaning forward on the pillow. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the Allen wrench out of the tools and undo. I've got four Allen screws, one for each corner of this back plate. Going to open those up and then we'll get some close-up video of the internals in the back. So here's the back cover. I'm taking it off. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there is a slight bow to it. Like I said, it was pushed in a little bit on this bottom edge past the lip. Hopefully, uh, we can get that to actually sit nicely on top of the lip when we put it back on. Uh, but uh, next, we're going to take a look at the internals, get a close-up view. So this is inside the back cover, where we can see the components from this angle. We can see the circuit board down here. We'll get a better look at that when we look through the bottom cover. Here we see the ribbon connecting up to the head that connects to your 4K monochrome display. That display is actually up above there. You can see pointing to it here, it's right above that. Then this right here would be a heat sink. And looking at either side, we see the two fans. Everything looks pretty good in here. Don't see any problems. Okay, so we've got the back cover uh, back on the unit. We were able to get it to sit nicely. It's almost completely flush. It's not dented in, at the very least. So next, we're going to take off the bottom cover. And this also looks much, much better than last time with the X133. 
There don't seem to be any dings or bends or abnormal curves in it. So hopefully we will be able to get a good look at the inside once we take this cover off. We'll also get close-ups in here so that you can see the different stuff that's inside this unit. Okay, so we have taken off the screws off of the bottom cover. There are eight of them. Four of them actually have these support feet that go with them. We've gotten all eight of those off. So now we can remove this bottom cover like this. And we're going to take a look inside at the internals of it. So here is the inside with the cover removed off of the bottom. We can see the waterproof LED driver. There's your circuit board, your cables. Everything actually looks fairly well connected. Nothing's crooked. Looks like everything is good here. Okay, so one thing we just noticed a little bit ago when we went to take off the bottom plate is that in the kit we got, again, remember this is a demo model. It was repackaged. We only had one Allen wrench. It was the size needed for the back plate here. The one underneath is a little bit larger. It did not have that Allen wrench in there. Uh, luckily, we had a spare Allen wrench that was the appropriate size. That, that's what we used to take off the bottom cover. So the next thing we're going to do is put this thing in its new home. We're also going to take a look at the settings for this X10 4K monochrome display and see uh, what we can do with it. Oh, the lights work on this one. <laughs> so here we did a light test and now we are raising the support arm for the build plate. And next we're going to install the build plate onto the unit. Make sure it is nice and secure on there. After that, we put the vat in and secured it down. Well, that does it for this episode of Let's Talk About. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future shows. Later, everyone.